the Metrodome in Minneapolis. The crowd is ready for the possibility of a hometown boy winning the Super Modified Mud Racing Championships. And he's first up. Dwayne Hirsch in the Psycho Babble. Supercharged, small block, Chevrolet, Jeep CJ Funny Car. His first shot of the four quick qualifiers. On the brakes hard, he'll stop it in time. The run is best so far, 2.571 seconds. The local youngster may well have a shot at winning this. Here's John Daly in the hang on. He had a career best in the first round. Daly hits the rut. It's a rough ride. He'll stop in time. The elapsed time, 2.70 seconds, though. Won't better. Hirsch's hometown hitter. The helmet comes off. He gets the news. He's not thrilled. Now Lynn Brink in the Supercharged 32 Special Coupe is up. tire spin and Brink shuts it off early to avoid from going out of bounds and that will keep him from battering Hirsch's 257. Lynn Brink runs 2.94 seconds and now the final run of the Camel Quick Four shootout. Mark Green out of Waukegan, Illinois with the Mud Buster. On the brakes hard! He stops it in time with a matter of feet away from disqualification. He had to go quicker than 257. He runs 2.38 seconds. And on his maiden event voyage, Green manages to pull out a win with a brand new Mud Buster beating Dwayne Hirsch on the final run of the event. Unbelievable job for Mark Green. Meanwhile, back in Anaheim, California, we are ready for a showdown of monster behemoths. It'll be Jim Kramer at the wheel of the Bigfoot Ford, taking on another hometown hitter. Jim Reese at the wheel of the Ecology Auto Wrecking Eliminator. The Z-shaped course has caused quite a few drivers to make several second guesses that cost him a run. But right now, everybody will have to go all out. They leave the line, and the whole shot goes to the hometown Chevrolet. Through the air, they head for the first turn, and a tap. They actually touch going into the first turn. Kramer, hard on the throttle, takes the turn perfectly in the blue Ford. They now move into the last turn. And they collide. Unbelievable. Kramer gets back on the gas and will cruise across the finish line. A winner in Bigfoot. This is going to be a big, big decision by the officials here. Was it rough driving? Was Bigfoot in front of the eliminator? Reese is mad. Mike Speller in front of the truck, the U.S. Hopper Association event director, talking with officials by way of two-way radio to find out whether or not it's a legal maneuver. The whole shot definitely went to the Chevrolet. They touch there when Reese gets on the brakes too hard for the first turn. Kramer makes up this much distance, and they come out of the last turn together. Incredible. Was there a driver at fault in this situation? And we just received word from the U.S. Harvard Association officials that Bigfoot is the winner. The win officially goes to Bigfoot. The Eliminator sitting with a flattened tire. Driver Jim Reese throwing his gloves in the cockpit. The crew is upset. They say no way. Jim Kramer is out of Bigfoot and Chris Chapman's got him. Jim, I think you're hard to vote if you are the winner. Well, that's why we have officials. The track is really narrow over there. And we talked about this earlier at the driver's meeting, that when you swing around like that, we've got a little more room, even if you have to drop off of that burn. It's not an ideal track, but that's what we ch chose to run with. It's a little tight in that area. And uh, all night long, like I discussed with Jerry Digger, that came up, just drop off that burn, give a little room. You gotta give a little bit. And uh, that's why I got officials. If they thought I was in his lane, I would be disqualified, and he would be the winner. But they judged that I was okay, and he didn't give me enough room, so. Uh, it was a good run. He run hard. Jim Reese is really a, a good competitor. And uh, we'll get him next time. Or he'll get me, maybe. What in the world went through your mouth when you all got together out there? <laughs> all I heard was a boom. It didn't feel real bad. I don't think we have a lot of damage. But I really need to check it out. Jim, it doesn't really seem fair that you're you're not in there. It looked like you had that race one. Yeah, I thought I had it run. It was a real good run for me. I feel like the best of the night track conditions are a little tough it gets tight in this corner and uh you know i don't think it was a fair call but i guess that's racing so do you believe jim kramer came into your lane and knocked you out of this one 
Yeah, I do. You know, when you come into a situation like this, you have to, uh, you have to bow right away. Now, I came out of my corner. I was accelerating, heading for the finish line. As you can see, if you point the camera, there's only so much lane here before you have a drop off. Where was I to go? Over there? Probably would have ended up the same way. Looks like you are obviously not satisfied with the official decision. Well, yeah, I'm not real happy. You know, this is our hometown. Got a lot of fans here. We came out here to, to race and then come out on top, and we thought we had a chance at it. But I'll have to settle with second place tonight. Indeed, he will after one of the most outrageous final rounds imaginable. The Ecology Eliminator comes out second best, and another victory for the Bigfoot team. Here's another look at the picture 